Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the barcode within FlexiPrint and this will be within our text tool. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za where we make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, if we head back into the program here, so now, like I mentioned, we're going to be looking at the barcode for the text tool. Now, um, it's pretty simple to do, so we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to select our text tool. Now, most of the time, you're going to be typing numbers here, depending on your barcode, but I'm just going to put an actual URL so you can get the idea of um, what it looks like. So I'm just going to go am.co.za. Then... Uh, with this selected, then what I can do is I'm going to go to our text menu from our main menu on top here. And then navigate down till we see the one called barcode. Now if I expand this one, you see we have a few different options. So I'm just going to take the bottom one because it's slightly bigger for the sake of this tutorial. But depending on what you need for your product, um, use the correct one. So if I click this, you can see it just turned this into a barcode for us. So let me zoom in. So have is nicely filling the screen now with the actual barcode selected you'll see on our design central we have a few options there we can set if we wanted to by default or i normally recommend leave everything on default but depending on your design purposes you might want to change this so then we've got our first tab here which is the actual barcode and here you, we can change again the type of uh, barcode type it is so I'm just going to leave that on what we chose it. Then we've got a few options here. We've got the uh, narrow bar width. So if we adjust this, it will start adjusting the actual bar width. Then um, under that, we've got some other ones. So we've got the actual bar height. So if you want to have a nice narrow one, you can do that as well. Set Adjust that here. Then we've got the uh, wide to narrow ratio. And then a few other ones. We've got the space to narrow ratio and then the quiet zone this will be kind of the the zone in the beginning um, okay at the moment it's not setting it but normally i will set the beginning zone yeah so these bottom ones are ratios and the top ones is kind of uh, we can customize them more but like i said in my opinion just leave these ones the default unless your design requires something else then we've got another type uh, tab to that that's the title so this will be your numbers or your whatever you wrote under there and that will be um yeah you can uh, either hide it show it and so forth you can add some more features you can change the font the type and all of that so under that and then you can also set the actual font size so if it is perhaps uh, too big then you can come here adjust it till it fits in nice and snugly you can also edit the text from here so over there you can edit it because if I had to let me just go out to zoom, if I select my text tool, you will notice that this is no longer text. So I can't just easily edit it. So if I made a mistake, then you want to select here, go to the last tab on the design central, and then um, on the edit there, you can edit it. But let's say you wanted to somehow convert it back, then you can either go here on the design central, click convert to text, or what we can do is we go on our text menu, on our main menu, we go to barcode right at the bottom there you'll see it also says barcode to text if i click that it will convert this back to text and it will no longer be a barcode but yeah otherwise that is on the barcode it's very handy to have this within your program so you don't have to use some external program to generate barcodes but yeah in the meanwhile though if we head here to software training.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.